they don't do enough concerts, I'd like them to do more. Only because you can never get enough of a good thing. We're worshipping musicians. We're worshipping first with the music that God's given us. When we went to uh, Normandy, we had a, an American pastor who came with us, and he talked about Adoramas being a musical, missional community. Can the Adoramas choir wait behind and we'll actually sort out getting on and off the stage, please? Perfect. Yeah, but then it, it just, it's not short enough, you know, right and clean enough from the da 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 You practice and you practice and you practice but then it comes together on the day. And then when the orchestra turn up for the concert, wow. And the quality that comes out of it at the other end is, is for me a real, real buzz, especially when it goes right. <laughs> exalted, it's that sense of achievement when you know you've worked 10 weeks on this section and it's finally clicked. And you see Dave and then he gives you that look. It doesn't happen often, but when you get that look of like, yeah, all right, you've, you've nailed that one. The choir rehearses uh, on a Tuesday night at Christchurch Cop Fosters in the, uh, in the church hall. We rehearse from eight to 10 with a short break in the middle for coffee and a chat. Um, and that's weekly during term time. I enjoy my Tuesday nights, you know, I see my friends, um, I love singing, I find e even if I've had the worst day, if I'm feeling really low, just the act of singing just seems to lift your spirits. In the orchestra we will have a, a Monday rehearsal prior to the concert and then a rehearsal on the day. Now I drive an hour and a half to get here sometimes. You wouldn't be doing it if it wasn't a place where you felt welcomed. It's typically three concerts a year, so one at roughly the end of every school term. And when we've been to Normandy, to Italy, to Turkey, we try to link up with the churches so that they can use what we do to communicate the faith um, where they are. There have been specific instances where someone has come and maybe not known about Jesus or not known, but something has touched them quite significantly and they've fed back to somebody in the choir. So you know that that concert had some impact on that person. On our first trip to Italy, we were encouraged to get to know some of the locals to try and converse with them. I took this to its extreme <laughs> and uh, one of the people who we, uh, was hosting us is now my wife. I love singing solos. I get very nervous, but I do enjoy singing them. And suddenly there was an angel Into the note. And sing into the note. The conductor is David Hook. He's a fantastic character. He's excellent musician. Phrasing. He's humorous. A little bit cheeky. He's gentle and he's a great That's person it. to be around. Okay, that sounds great, really good. If you're enjoying it, you could smile as well. And, and again, just light, lighter in the cymbals the whole way through, probably about a mezzo piano maximum, unless I get carried away at the end. I think Dave is completely committed to the vision of where this choir started and where it's going. I'm looking to create programmes to communicate the Christian faith. There's always lots of thought gone into the programming, which we don't always see. The main criteria is that we actually come up with some sort of theme, um, some sort of concept. And you look at the range and you're thinking, how, how is this linking? <laughs> I don't get it, you know, I'll be honest. But when it comes together, you do see it. I think some of our best concerts are the ones that are really eclectic. Whether it's an ABBA song, Mozart, Beethoven, 17th century music, gospel music, Queen, 
We've even done Italian pop covers, monocle will work. We've done hymns, early classical. We've done jazz. Something from an oratorio. Christian contemporary music. And then we do Oklahoma. <laughs> <laughs> Love classics. I'm like going, oh, Oklahoma. <laughs> and, and I hate musicals. <laughs> and I thought, I am loving that. Pop songs. Romantics and 19th century, 20th century works. The Messiah. The masses. Bang up to date 21st century music. Something from the world of opera or something from the world of shows. The wild and wonderful things that David Hook can throw at us. Just a touch more second horn in the last bar, please. He knows precisely what he wants. He's very good at getting the best out of the orchestra, but he does it with gentleness and respect. We will try to work hard in rehearsals, but we'll try to do that in a way that's actually fun at the same time. Are you sitting comfortably? If you are, I'll begin or something like that, wasn't it? OK. There's a positivity and an encouragement, which is very important. You know, only last night he was kind of, you know, taking me to one side saying, are you OK? You know, you must let us know if you're not. You were off sick the other week. You know, what's happening? And we have pastoral reps in each um, section who make sure those people are engaged and involved. The orchestra usually stand up. Assuming they do, we, we do. do. If they don't, we do anyway and we'll embarrass them. <laughs> OK, let's go anyway and we'll see if we can... It is a very supportive atmosphere and there are all different levels amongst us and, and you only need to sit ne next to different people at various points. And we know we're all at different levels. We're um, completely multi-denominational. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've right. got people from all different mm -hmm. churches who worship in all different styles. It makes it a much more inclusive community um, but actually also a community that's more open to new people coming in. And interestingly, there's nobody in the choir that goes to my church and there's nobody that yeah. goes to your nobody church that goes in the to choir mine as either, well. Right. So it's not all people from the same church that turn up together. We've been referred to as a really friendly bunch, which is, which is great to actually hear that back. People are respectful and sympathetic to the ethos of yeah. the choir, otherwise yeah. they wouldn't join, yeah. I don't think. I've spoken to people who've come along and they've said, you know, I, I've not really had any contact with church, but, you know, I'm just loving this and I can feel that there's something different about you. I can feel this love that you have for one another that I've never come across anywhere else. You know, not everybody who's sung in the choir in the past has been a Christian. You've just been afraid, you know. Oh, oh, okay. You don't have to join us if you don't want to, oh, okay. but you can if you want. That's what we're doing. We pray before concerts. Um, that is a really important time because it is a very definite pause in the mad rush of a Saturday um, when, when the choir and the orchestra just get together and take 15 minutes of quiet and reflection. The orchestra is brilliant, but the choir for me is just amazing. I didn't realise people could make such a wonderful sound. There are just, sometimes, not all the time, there are special moments when you feel that, oh gosh, heaven is touching earth. I would describe Adoramus as uh, a friendly family. <laughs> <laughs> I've done my homework, it's up to you now. You can just put that on the video, me with a blank face. <laughs> I think I would come back to community as probably the overarching word. Musical community. Yes. I think that goes together. It is a musical community. Yeah. Musical mission. See? <laughs> That's it. There you go. Uplifting, fellowship, musical mission. There you go. I've got it in that show. <laughs> well, if someone wants to, to join Adoramus, what we'd encourage them to do is simply come along on a Tuesday night to actually rehearse with the choir, see what we're like as people, hear what music um, we're, we're rehearsing and performing, see how they fit in, whether it's as a, a soprano alto, as a tenor or bass, and get a feel for, for, for the Christian ethos as well. I'd say come and try us out. Um, you can get in touch via the website just to let somebody know you're coming and then we'll be prepared for the fact that you're going to be here and you'll be given some music and chance to join in straight away. We are a very friendly choir, we are really welcoming and 
I would hope that that's what people would find when they come in. <laughs>
place I love now it's empty and still where are the people the sounds of the city how long till we meet again how did it come to this for the
the place I love now it's empty and still where are the people the sounds of the city how long till we meet again how did it come to this for the Never knew how much we 